Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ifedayo and I'm a Nigerian beauty blogger based in Lagos. I share skincare reviews, makeup reviews and other fun lifestyle content. So if you'd like to see more of that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, in this video, <laughs> I'll be doing a quarantine skincare routine. I know I look like. <laughs> so I basically created this makeup look for Instagram and if you don't know, I create fun makeup looks on my Instagram page that I don't create on here on my YouTube channel so please follow me on my Instagram page at a makeup junkie underscore so where you can see more of makeup content. I'm going to be taking it up with you guys and having a nice relaxing quarantine lockdown worthy skincare routine so if you'd like to see more of that please keep on watching but don't forget to subscribe. The first, first step to any skincare routine is getting your hair out of the way and I'm very certain that this will be in the way so I'm going to be putting this in a bun and I'm going to be packing my hair into a bun and putting a headband on and then coming right back to step it's my routine and I'm going to start off by taking off this makeup so I, I usually double cleanse when I wear makeup because what double cleansing does means is using an oil based cleanser or a balm cleanse to take off the oil based impurity from your face and then going ahead to use a gel or foaming or cream cleanser or a second cleanser to take off the water-based impurities from your face so all base cleansers are good for taking off makeup they're good for taking off sunscreen so oil sticks to oil and oil and water don't make in today's video if you're familiar with my channel you know i love the pharmacy beauty cleansing balms i love both of them the very cherry the cherry clean one and the green clean one i'm going to be using the green clean one in this video and i'm going to be using to take off my makeup this is an amazing cleansing balm and um what it does is that it starts off so this is what it looks like it has a spatula i'm going to put it close to it comes with a spatula and i will just be scooping out a little quantity of, it, of the cleansing balm and i create a number of SFX looks and this um, this cleanser actually takes off SFX makeups so um, special effects makeup so which is really amazing so I really really like it I forgot to take off my lashes what do I think I am <laughs> oh you shouldn't do that actually you should actually not rip them off like that you should actually use an eye makeup remover to do that but I'm judging myself so I'm going to go ahead so, so as you can see that baby is coming off this is one of my favorite makeup um first cleanse so what this looks like what the <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead to rinse this out in the bathroom and come back <laughs> this is actually my face after i have done just my first cleanse and so you can see the reason i really like that cleanser i think it does a beautiful amazing job of taking out all my makeup i'll be going ahead to use my second cleanser and i actually just got this cleanser this is the cosarex low ph good morning gel cleanser this is a very 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 popular cleanser but i haven't used it so i can't really give i can only give my first impressions on it this cleanser has, is very popular on the market and it's very popular it's especially popular because it has a low ph it's important for you to know that your skin's natural barrier has an acidic ph and for your skin to function your skin barrier to function at its best it's best for you to use products that have a more acidic ph as opposed to an alkaline ph products with an alkaline ph tend to be more irritating and they also tend to be more drying and they're not as skin barrier friendly as products with lower ph um, however products with very low ph such as the ordinary ha and bha which i'm going to be using later um, has a very low ph is can also be irritating to the skin makes a very good cleanser for people who have sensitive skin it's a gel cleanser and here yeah, i have it in my hand here and i'm going to just rub this into my skin it also contains tea tree oil which makes it a good which makes it a good cleanser for people with um acne prone skin as well so but it's important to note that if you're not a fan of smells, <laughs> this is not the cleanser for you. It has quite the scent. <laughs> quite the scent. <laughs> so I'm going to be going ahead to do the remaining of this in the bathroom and then come back. I'm going to be going ahead to apply the ordinary AHA and BHA 
peeling solution what this is is a peeling solution it's supposed to it serves as a mask and it's a mask that contains combinations of alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids so it serves as a chemical peel and you have to leave it on for, for 10 minutes and then rinse off and it serves to give your skin an extra boost of exfoliation once or twice weekly depending on how sensitive your skin is um this baby is like an extra 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 it's for like people it's for people who are not new to chemical exfoliation so i would not advise anyone who has not tried any other chemical exfoliants to try it. it helps to exfoliate my skin and it helps with hyperpigmentation it helps with acne and it's a really pr good products to have if you have been using other chemical exfoliants already i really like it it's one of my favorite products from the ordinary and i love it love it love it many people complain about how much these things these things and I have found that applying it to wet skin or damp skin makes it sting 100 times more. So please apply it to dry skin. <coughs> so I'm going to apply this. So it comes in this blood-like consistency. And I'm going to just apply all of that. And then... It's higher there in the exfoliation gang. And that product that contains this kind of um that contains a mixture of alpha hydroxy acids is also the pharmacy beauty honey glow honeymoon glow please if you do not plan to use sunscreen do not bother do not bother do not bother with any skincare <laughs> because like pouring water inside baskets <laughs> on a more serious note what it literally means is that you're applying so much skincare and spending so much money on skincare products where and then you're exposing your, your skin to the harmful effects of this of the sun and um Photo damage ranges from from hyperpigmentation to dehydration to impaired skin to impaired skin barrier to even skin cancer. And th these products actually increase your sensitivity to the sun. That, and that was actually what made me remember this. So please, let's apply sunscreen and wait for 10 minutes off camera, of course. 10 minutes, and I'm going to just come back. And now I'm going to go ahead to apply my mask. So I'm going to be applying the Tony Moly. Skin Bright Natural Pop Essence Sheet Mask. So, you know, I mentioned earlier that the peeling solution can be a little bit drying and can be irritating. So, after I apply my peeling mask, I like to apply more hydrating products to my skin to like help cushion and hydrate and just, you know, give that skin all of that moisture that it might be losing from using that um, product. Like, so I just like to really make my skin feel good. I buy mine from to Tojua on um, Instagram. So if you live in Nigeria, she delivers nationwide. Put this in the fridge, in the freezer actually. I should put this in the fridge, but I put it in the freezer. So I'm going to go ahead to open it up. You see some torn areas. <laughs> Don't be angry. I was trying. I was impatient and I was trying to get it out as quickly as possible, and it was quite it was actually frozen. <laughs> god this is so cooling like what mask on mask off what i do sometimes is that i use the remaining essence inside the mask and apply it all over my face but sometimes when i feel like i have had enough hydration or i have had enough juice I just leave that and use that next day or use that on my, my next skincare routine. It's, there's something I learned and I learned this from Jackie Aina's YouTube channel, one of her YouTube videos rather, where you put your toners or it puts inside like inside this um ice cube trays and like you put a toothpick in it so that when it forms, it forms with the ice pick. It forms with the toothpick in it, so you can use it to like so that's what I'm doing now. I'm using it all over my face. It gives a really nice cold feeling to the skin. Like you cannot even understand how cold this is. So I'm just applying that all over. Ooh. Okay. So this routine is not a routine. This is not my day-to-day -day routine. This is extra, 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 extra. <laughs> this is extra and some. <laughs> so my face feels really really nice i'm going to wait for that to sink in before i continue to apply my skincare because at this point my face is like drenched in juice
all that juice has gone into my skin and i'm going to go ahead to apply my eye cream now and, and i'll be using the pharmacy beauty cheer up brightening eye cream i really like this eye cream it's very brightening and very hydrating and hydrating is what i look for in my eye products so i'm going to just go ahead to use that i'm going to apply this okay, and i'm going to up use this this is the real techniques under eye reviver so i put it in the fridge so that it could get a little um a little cool and it is very cool actually <laughs> it's not a little cool it's a very cool and i'm going to use that to revive my under eye area this is really good in the mornings when you kind of feel like you need a little bit extra When you feel like you need a little bit extra rejuge for your puffy eyes, this is really a really good way to go. It really helps. Oh, I'm kind of enjoying this. I'm not kind of. I am actually enjoying this. When I'm going to go ahead to apply my face serum, I forgot to mention that the block block cube <laughs> that I used earlier was the pixie the milky tonic that was what i poured inside that ice cube tray so i'm going to go ahead to apply my serum and this is the pixie beauty hydrating milk serum i love how hydrating the serum is this is one of my favorite hydrating serums so like so far it's really nice and hydrating and gets the job done so i'm going to go ahead and apply that i'm going to go ahead to apply my moisturizer i'm so tired i need to go to bed <laughs> And I'm going to be applying the Pixie Tonic Hydrating Milky Lotion. I apply this both on my face and um, on my body as well. And this is really hydrating. However, it contains coconuts and shea butter. And I think that a lot of people react to those ingredients. And those ingredients have the potential to clog pores. So it's not for everybody. Yeah. So but I really like it because it's very hydrating. While that is sinking, I'm going to go ahead and apply lip balm. And this is the Nivea lip balm. This is the original one. It says original. It's the dark blue one. And I'm going to apply that all over my lips. I'm very generous with the way I apply lip balm. Like, <laughs> no cracked lips, bitches. And this is basically what a quarantine, extra, an extravagant quarantine skincare routine looks like. I love the way my skin looks, the way it feels, it feels so good. It was such an experience, a lovely experience. I would like to know if you guys have tried any of them. If you have, please leave a comment about any of them in the comment section below. If you also have any questions, please don't forget to ask your questions in the comment section below. I'm going to be leaving the links to the products I used in the description box below. Some of those links will be affiliate links. And what that does is that that I make a small percentage of your purchase. It helps with my content creation process really. And I would appreciate if you guys decide to use those links if you want to make a purchase. So that is the end of this skincare routine. It's been such a pleasure. <laughs> oh god, my skin is looking good. I'm like we went from hundred to zero real quick. Like this is a skincare routine on a hundred. We achieved what we came to achieve, which is what? Glowing skin. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I found it fun. It was a nice video for me to create because it was basically doing what I enjoy doing, which is applying skincare and doing a lot of steps and just enjoying the process. I hope you guys decide to do the same thing at home since we're all quarantined at home. I hope we're all staying home and staying safe. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.